What's up guys? Welcome back to Raising the Rogers Homestead. Today I want to show you guys my pig waters. These are really, really easy to build. Uh, they're super simple to put together and I need to build another one for our, she's a gilt, hopefully a sow here before too long, but she is pregnant and she is due this month. I have got her separated and I need to build her another waterer and I wanted to bring you guys along and show you that. So here we go. So the main components of this is a protein mineral tub. If you have any farmers that's anywhere around your area, you could probably ask them for the mineral protein tubs. A lot of times they just throw them away. We like to use them for waters. We like to use them for planters. They're really good for several things. And the other component is the automatic float valve. Uh, these are from Little Giant. I just picked these up at Tractor Supply. They're about 15 bucks or so, but I'm telling you, they are well worth it. Now, I work a full-time job uh, while also running the farm as well. So I try to automate as much as humanly possible so that I can check on it in the morning before I leave. And then whenever I get home, I know that everything is okay and I don't have to worry about it during the day. So. This is a part of my automation for my farm, because like I said, I do work another full-time job. So here we go. I wanna show you guys how to put this together. So just like with any other project that I do, it's very, very unsophisticated. So this is how I start out with these waters. I will just take a five and a half inch board. So like a two by six or something like that. I'll take a five and a half inch board and I'll make me a mark across the bottom and the top and then I'll cut the sides out. Let me show you that real quick. I'll set that board up like that and then basically I'll just stick the marker on there and I'll spin the bucket. That way I can have me a mark across the front of it. Now I've got my horizontal mark. I'm gonna make my vertical marks to cut out. I'm gonna drill me a hole in the bottom corners. That way it's a little easier to cut out. I just use a jigsaw and cut along the lines. So that's how it was, that's how it is now. Cut this off, don't need that no more. All right, now we're going to drill our holes in the back for our automatic float valve. I'll show you guys that now. So with the same board that I made the mark around the front with, I am going to make a mark around the back now. Now that I've got my mark on the back, I'm gonna go about an inch and a half to two inch lower than that, and that's wherever where I'm gonna put my marks for my automatic float valve. All right, let's put our float valve together. All right, when you take this thing out of the box, you're gonna have the housing. This is where your hose screws in. You're gonna have the float valve itself. It goes up inside the housing, like so. Two long screws, two short screws, and two brackets and a, a seal to go on the inside with the hose grip. All right, first step, take your housing. There is uh, the two gaps up here at the top. This right here slides right into that. Real simple. This is the hardest part of putting these things together. So they give you a cotter pin. This is where the hose goes in. Right above that, there's a little bitty tiny hole, right there. Cotter pin goes through it. And it goes all the way through the back of it. Then you gotta spread that out. Stick a screwdriver in it. And just twist it, and it should look like that. And that right there will hold that float valve in place. It won't go nowhere. Next, 
you want to put these on here so that you got something to hang it on, obviously. You take the long end and slide it in the top. Now, you can set these to where they're that close or you can set them where they're that close. However you want to do it. I always set mine down here at the bottom. Line up that hole down at the bottom and put your small screws in. Once you get your small screws in it, just tighten them up. It doesn't have to be crazy tight. Now for the long screws. Long screws go in the back here and then they tighten down onto whatever you're putting it on. So you put it on top of a trough or whatever, then you can tighten these down and then that way it holds it in place and nothing can knock it off. So these things make great cattle waters as well. That's what I use, uh, but they just hang on the back of it like that right there. And then you can fill that all the way up. But we're actually using this for a pig water and a pig is not this tall. So you have to put it down in the bottom. So we're about to drill the holes for that and then we're gonna put this in. Let's drill the holes for the automatic water to go in. All right, now we got our holes drilled. I had to actually drill two holes because my bit wasn't big enough, but just drill them side by side and kind of waller them out a little bit. That way that these will fit through there. All right, we're gonna stick these through that, those holes. It should sit in there just like that. You take your long screws, put them in the back, and then that way that'll hold that water straight. All right, guys, from here, what I'll do is I will put this on a pallet and run some boards up the side of it that way that the pig can't move it around and uh, i'm going to show you guys that next all right guys i have tried every way from sunday to be able to have the water out there with the pigs and them not turn it over or flip it or constantly trying to get water out of it to make a wallow right beside it and this right here has worked extremely well for me so this is the way i do it uh, just a couple of pieces of wood on the sides, kind of toenail them into the uh, pallet itself. Uh, so I'll show you that real quick. All right, I got three of them set up where the tub is actually gonna sit and I'm gonna run a screw on the inside of everything. I'll cut some shorter pieces on the inside and we'll mount them inside here and screw them into the, the outside pieces. That's pretty much it guys. We're gonna take it out and put it out there with our pig and see how it works. All right, I got the water put in our area. We're gonna plug it up, see how it works. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. She's hooked up with a new waterer now. We've been watering her out of a pail and uh, it just it just takes a lot. It takes a lot of time and somebody else. And like I said, I work a full-time job, an off-farm job, so I have to automate as much as possible. So this right here is gonna allow me to not only be able to get pit or get water to my pig, but also I can have the peace of mind while I'm at work during the day, I can check on her in the morning and make sure everything's okay before I leave and then head out to work and not have to worry about it all day long. I set that water just a little bit lower than, uh, than I usually do. But the reason for that is the other waters that I've built. So I've got another one that's actually, it's the red one right there. That's on my big pigs and, uh, and it, it works great but I've got the water set a little bit higher, so I have to be conscious of where I put it so that it doesn't spill water over the front. Uh, I have to set it where it's kind of at a downhill slope. This one, I wanted to set it, set it up to where 
I could basically put it anywhere as long as it wasn't on like a 45 degree angle, which well, I'm not dealing with, with uh, angles and heels that hard. But this puts about two and a half to three inches of water in the bottom of that, which is great. Uh, and as they drink it, it fills it up and then I don't have to worry about it. Like I said, Anna is due this month and we are super excited. So make sure you guys stick around for that video. Should be coming in the next three weeks or so. Uh, that's kind of what we've got marked out on the calendar. And she's a beautiful pig and we hope that she does very well. This will be our very first time farrowing pigs on our plate. Make sure you guys like and subscribe our channel, please. Uh, we're still trying to grow this thing. We're making some pretty good progress. Uh, I appreciate every one of you that uh, that subscribed to our channel. And actually, whenever we get to a thousand views on our channel, we're actually gonna do a giveaway. Uh, I'm super excited about that. We should be hitting that here before too long, uh, as long as everything goes as planned. But guys, we appreciate you stopping by. We, we really, really do. And uh, we hope you guys will stick around for the long haul. We will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.